kiss the card, and then you can take the oath. Okay? You gotta kiss the card. Clean it up. <laughs> okay, you gotta face the ocean. I think the ocean's that way. I swear. I swear. No matter where I travel, I'll always speak highly of the maritime. So help me God. Long may your big jib draw down the hatch. Come here to Scarborough, Ontario. We're waiting for you. Let's welcome our master of ceremonies, the one, the only, East Coast comedian and musician, Jimmy Flynn. Podium. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Bonjour, mes amis, and the Newfoundlandese, has she going, boys. <laughs> welcome tonight, and uh, we have the custom down home before we start a ceremony. There's friends and neighbors you haven't met here tonight, so if you don't know the person beside you, just turn around and say, hi, bye, how are you? The whole place, come on, hi, bye, how are you? Right <laughs> I did this on the radio this morning. I'd like to welcome you to the Mississauga Border Trade East Coast theme 2012 Annual Chair Gala. Give yourselves a great big hand for being here. Come on. My name's Jimmy Flynn, and I'll be your MC for the night. It's a pleasure to be here. I flew in from Nova Scotia yesterday afternoon, and it's, a, it's spring in the in Maritimes now, and springtime down home is a very special time of year, because that's the time we take our empties back. <laughs> and I've seen a funny thing down there last year. I saw these two guys working along the road. One guy was digging a hole, and the other guy was coming behind and filling it in. I said, what are you boys doing? I always said, we work for the city down here. We're tree planters. I digs the hole, Bill puts a tree in the ground, and John fills her in. He said, but Bill isn't here today. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and special guests. As a 2012 chair of the Mississauga Board of Trade, it gives me great pleasure to formally welcome you to our annual chairs gala, honoring our 2011 chair, Ian McFadden, and presenting our prestigious Lifetime Business Achievement Award to Mr. John Kaiser. First, let me begin by thanking the entertaining and very funny Jimmy Flynn for serving as our MC this evening. The first dance will be the Sailor's Hornpipe performed by Hilary Newmark. Let's give her a big hand before she starts. Come on.
Big hand for the sword dance. Come on, let's hear it. a great big hand. An Irish Jake want to get some hands clapping during this one. Mary Ellen Can School of Highland Dancing. Let's hear it for Can we give him a standing ovation? Come on, give him a standing ovation. They did a wonderful job. <laughs> ah, get it in you boys. It's going to be a fun night here. How many people here got a stupid brother? I got a dandy. My brother's so stupid, he phoned up the Guinness Book of World Records last week, said his name put in the book. Guy said, what'd you do? He said, I put a puzzle together in six weeks. Guy said, what's so great about that? My brother said, this is right in the box, five to seven years. Stupid. But he's gone out west with the rest of them. He's living in Saskatchewan now. Call me up last summer, every day, I'm homesick, I'm homesick. I said, go fishing, get your mind up being homesick. So he took me to the boat, but on top of the car, went for driving to Prairie, trying to find a lake to go fishing. But he couldn't find a lake anywhere, but he saw the wheat fields flowing in the wind. Looked at the ocean back home in a calm day. He took that little boat, dragged it out in the middle of the wheat field, got the life jacket on, the oars out, eyes the boat, the pools of the boat, and eyes the boat. Having a time of his life. Another car pulled up along the highway, guy got out ripping mad. Slammed the door of the car, said, hey, you out there in the boat. My brother said, what do you want? He said, where are you from? Brother said, Newfoundland. He said, buddy, I'm Newfoundland too. And there's guys like you coming out west and pulling out these kind of stunts. That's why they make up jokes about us. So a matter of fact, if I can swim, I come out there and kick the shit out of you. <laughs> if you get the person beside you ready around the neck. When I get everybody kind of swaying back and forth, get the maritime party going. Who you know. the sun like the diamonds? Come on. You think she was queen of the land. And the hair hung over her shoulder. Tied up with the black velvet band. Here's one you all know. My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. My body lies over the ocean. Open back my body to all the day. Open, open, open back my body to me, to me. Open, open, open back my body to me. To the party, eyes are by the bills of oats, and eyes are by the tails, eyes are by the bills of oats, and some humble life. Go hook the practice of the boo, hit the practice of the bound, go with the big boat and serve her all around us. Well, I don't want you to make any fish, she's up for people with her. She likes to get the spinners out, tell them all of this. Eyes are by the bills of oats, and eyes are by the eyes are by Come on, every hand clapping, every foot stopping. I'm in the next and there, I'm the leader of the band. Although if you number, we're the best friend in the land. And as you tell as you do, the people really get off the land. But clearly to Ireland, you're not going to marry that. In 1814, we took a needle trip. A lot of Colonel Jackson down the bottom of Mississippi. Took a needle bacon and we took a needle bean. Bought the bloody birds in the town. Bought the guns and the birds kept a coming. Well, there ain't many of them other water go. Bought what's born, baby, here on. Down the Mississippi, here's a government. So I hope you enjoy yourself half as much as I enjoy playing for you. I want you to watch out for water skiers and kangaroos. And have all the fun you can. A very wise man once said it was Einstein, believe it or not, there was two things he regretted before he died. One of them was he never kissed enough children. The other was he never laughed enough. So live, laugh, and love. Have a great spring, a great summer, a great life. Jimmy Flynn, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for him. He did a great job up here for us.
Now, I have been charged with the responsibility of uh, the live auction. I've been watching Storage Wars all week long. I think I've got the beep, 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 beep all down pat now. And I know where every one of the high rollers is sitting in the crowd. Our first item up for auction is this wonderful wheelbarrow of wine. Wow. Now, for those of you who have come to this gala for the last several years, you'll know that a few years ago, yours truly bid $1,000 for this bottle of wine, for this barrel of wine. It was the most expensive wheelbarrow that I ever bought in my life. <laughs> 750 thank you very much. $800, who'll go $800? It's only $50 more. Yep. And $900, anybody gonna go $900 for us here? $900, top that bid, top that bid, $900, anybody, $900. $900, our bid's at $850. $850 going once. 20 bottles of the finest wine this side of the International Center. Wow, that's a deal. Eight. It looks like eight, more? 875? Eight, 875 eight, eight, over eight there. 875. 875 going once. 875 going twice. $900. Anybody? Anybody? 900? 875 sold. Now, if you know Ian, you know that he doesn't like being the center of attention. Despite having a very prominent role at the Business Development Bank of Canada and serving as MBOT's chair in 2011, you know, having his name and photos in the newspapers and magazines and being seen about town with the likes of, you know, the Prime Minister, the Premier, the Mayor and other prominent dignitaries. As Grant said, in fact, he's a very modest and unassuming gentleman. I'm sure right now he's uncomfortable with us talking about him. There are a number of other words that his colleagues, both at AMBOT and BDC, would use to describe Ian. He leads by example with honesty and integrity, successful. He likes challenges and challenges others around him. He offers support. He encourages and motivates others. He's organized, personable, and friendly. And he has and enjoys good humor. What this all comes down to is that Ian is the stereotypical nice guy. Well. As far as rows go, that was pretty easy. Um, although I didn't expect it to go quite that far back, there was obviously more of a conspiracy going on with my family than I realized. So, but anyway, thanks very much, you guys, for those kind words. And, and uh, they mean a lot to me, coming from two, two guys I've gotten to know uh, very well over the last few years and done a little traveling with Sheldon. And, uh, and uh, I do really appreciate the comments. So it's my pleasure to... Uh, uh present these uh, greetings on behalf of the Government of Canada to uh, Ian McFadden. And I'm reading from uh, the letterhead of the Prime Minister of Canada, and it reads as follows. I am pleased to extend my warmest greetings to everyone attending the 2012 Chairs Gala hosted by the Mississauga Board of Trade. Since 1976, the Mississauga Board of Trade has been dedicated to the prosperity of Mississauga, diligently addressing the needs and representing the best interests of the city's business community. I would like to make the, take this opportunity to commend the many volunteers whose efforts make possible MBOT's ongoing commitment to providing a strong voice for local business. It is fitting that you are honoring Mr. Ian McFadden this evening. His outstanding leadership as MBOT chair during the past year, his many personal achievements, and his extensive community involvement make him most deserving of this tribute. I would like to join with you in congratulating him on receiving this special, special recognition. On behalf of the government and the people of Canada, I offer you my best wishes for a most enjoyable and memorable evening. And that's uh, signed the Right Honourable Stephen Harper, Prime Minister of Canada. And well, good evening, everybody. What a wonderful evening. It takes the East Coast to make things really happen, isn't it, Ian? <laughs> and congratulations to Ian. You've done an outstanding job as president. We have been so blessed in the last few years with uh, chairman of our board that have made such a major contribution to the business community and, of course, to the great community and city of Mississauga. So, John, it's with a lot of with, uh, pleasure and, and uh, pride that we want to present to you the Mississauga Board of Trade Lifetime Business Achievement Award for 2012. Congratulations.
Well, I won't deny that I'm somewhat overwhelmed, but more than anything else, I'm really thrilled to be a part of this wonderful celebration. And I give my heartfelt thanks for being included with Ian McFadden, who is a talented man of considerable passion and enthusiasm marked by his warm and powerful leadership. Ian has made a significant contribution to the continued success of the Mississauga Board of Trade and its members, and I compliment you, Ian. Great story for a great man. There he is right there. I'd like to have a big hand tonight, folks, for all the wonderful entertainment you had here tonight. Give them all a great hand, man, would you? And I'd also thank Terry Havershaw. I've been doing this for over 30 years, and the sound system and the production, everything, did a great job. Give them up, boys, a great big hand over there, would you? That concludes our evening. I'd like to thank you all once again for, for our sponsors, the contributors, the International Center, and most of all, you people. On behalf of the Mississauga Board of Trade, we wish you a good night and good business, and God bless you all. Thanks so much for coming out. <laughs>